Hey! Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree. I'm a small business owner, a crafter, and I absolutely love plants. In 2020, I left my corporate job and started doing reselling full time. I own an online secondhand shop selling on places like Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I source my items primarily from thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, donations from people. Anyone who will give me clothes, I will likely try to sell them. <laughs> Today I'm doing a what sold video. I have decided to go ahead and combine all of my sales from all three platforms, Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay for this video. And because February is a shorter month, I decided to just go ahead and do the first part of the month. So this is gonna cover February 1st through February 14th. If you're interested in seeing videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so you can see more of my content. The sales for this period, I had 12 Poshmark sales three Mercari sales, and two eBay sales. I've been focusing primarily on these platforms for this year. I do still have some things lingering on Depop and Facebook Marketplace, but I'm trying to slowly remove those and just focus on these three marketplaces for this year. So Poshmark has proven to be my top seller, um, at least for quantity of items, but using Vendu, um, and I'm now using my reseller Genie. I'm definitely getting a clearer picture of how my profit in different marketplaces is actually doing much better. I am noticing that eBay, I don't make as many sales, but I do get most of the time full price for sales. Poshmark, I'm definitely getting a lot more sales, but I'm getting a lower average sale price on those items. So it's kind of a give and take, but it's great to observe those things throughout the quarter and kind of see where I should focus more for next quarter if I should keep going where I'm going or if I should change things up. So we're going to go ahead and get started with Poshmark sales. So the first sale I had was a pair of Lululemon high-waisted gym shorts. This was definitely an older style of gym short. I had originally listed these at $25. These were a consignment piece and they were definitely faded. They had some washing wear. Other than that, no rips, no tears, um, good condition. I had sent out offers on this item a few times and someone counter offered $10. And um, so I went ahead and accepted that offer to get things started positively in the right direction for February. My second sale was a Lululemon. It was the Flow Y Nulu Bra which is kind of like a Y strap bralette. Um, I had actually picked this one up from the bins a while back. So I believe someone sent an offer to me for $21. I originally had that one listed for $28. So I went ahead and accepted that offer. The next sale that came through was an Eileen Fisher Merino wool cardigan. This really beautiful like lavender purple color. I had picked this one up from the bins last year. It did have a slight flaw, just a little hole in the back, kind of back of the shoulder. So that was disclosed in the listing. Um, this one had been relisted a few times as well. And this one was sent out um, through Posture VA. An offer was sent out for $14 with a $1.72 discount and it was accepted. So we went ahead and got that one out. The next piece that sold, I was very excited. Um, if you haven't seen my last haul, I believe, I'll go ahead and link it here. Um, I had found a Zara puffer jacket, kind of a cropped length at the bins recently. Um, I listed this item, let's see when I listed this item. I believe it was February 1st that I listed this item and it sold on February 9th. Listed it for $65, definitely was on the high end, um, and someone offered me $50, and I gladly accepted that offer. So a really exciting sale for that. I really liked that jacket. I had tried it on and like really thought about maybe keeping it, but I'm glad it got a new home. I'm glad I saved it from a landfill. Um, so happy and smiles all around for that one. The next sale was a chambray like a pinstripe tunic it was by the brand soft surroundings i do try to pick up soft surroundings when i see it i feel like there is a pretty good following for that brand 
Um, this was just kind of your basic v-neck. I had originally listed that one for $30 and someone had liked it and received an offer through my posture VA for $22 with a $1.72 discount and they went ahead and accepted that. So I got that one out. The next piece that sold was also in my last thrift haul. Um, this was a Columbia zip up fleece sweater, gray with this kind of fuchsia hot pink detail on the zippers, size 3XL. Um, this one I had listed for $25. So this one I had also listed on February 1st and um, an offer was sent out for Through My Posture VA and on February 10th it was sold for $18 with a $1.72 discount. <laughs> the next piece it sold was a Free People blue striped floral dress, definitely like your bodycon style. This I had received from a flip lot last year. I had bought the lot out so it became my item. Um, it had recently been relisted through um, Vendu and it sold for $27. The next piece that sold was a Hologen 100% cashmere crew neck sweater, just a basic black piece. I had picked this one up from the bins as well, I believe last month. Um, and this one sold for $27 with a $1.72 discount. The next piece that sold was um, by the brand Lucy. It was an athletic racer back tank, really lightweight and very gently worn, size large. That one I received an offer for $11 for that top and I went ahead and accepted that offer. The next order that came through was a 41 Hawthorne long sleeve, just a basic kind of green blouse top size extra large. I received an offer for this one for $9. I originally had this listed at $20. This was a consignment piece that I had taken on for a client. It did have some wear inside, kind of some, uh, just a little like marking in like the armpit area. So that was disclosed in my listing. I received an offer for $9 and I went ahead and accepted that offer. The next item that sold was another athletic wear piece. This was by the brand Zella, high-waisted black legging large. Um, these I had had for a little while um, and they had an offer sent to them through Posture VA for $12 with a $1.72 discount. That was accepted, so we went ahead and moved that one out quickly. The next piece that sold was a really cute denim, um, mini skirt with some red, red embroidered flowers. Um, it was by Fashion Nova, kind of more of a fast fashion brand. I had found these at the bins um, and paid probably around the 75 cent mark for this. Um, and someone did send me an offer for $8 and I went ahead and accepted that. That still left me with the profit of $5.05. So I was happy about that sale and happy to move it out as well. So that was it for my Poshmark sales. Um, let's go ahead and look at Mercari and see how those sales went. Okay, so I had sold three items on Mercari. Mercari is typically a little slower for me. I cross post everything that I do from Poshmark onto eBay and to Mercari. So it has a fair chance, but for some reason things just move a little slower for me. So I did get three sales throughout the last two weeks, which I am totally stoked about. Um, the first item was a pair of black wide leg cropped overalls by Duluth Trading Co. I found these at the bins last year and probably paid around a dollar for them. Um, they had been listed in the $50 range and they had a lot of likes. Um, I believe on Mercari alone I had 15 likes. I had a lot of likes on Poshmark as well, but offers were never really being accepted. Someone offered me $36 for these on Mercari and I went ahead and accepted that offer. The next piece was also another piece that was in my last thrift haul. It was the Soma, uh, it's the Sensuous Lace Sheer Bra. Um, it was teal, had this really beautiful embroidery and some beading on it. Um, I had listed that item on February 1st as well and and it sold on February 8th. I had listed this for $35 and someone had offered me $28 on Mercari and I went ahead and accepted that offer. 
the last order that came in through Mercari. This was a girl's size 10 item. It was by the brand American Girl. Um, the Floral Truly Me Meat <laughs> Sleeveless Dress. Um, I had picked this up at the bins last year as well. I had it listed at $25 and someone offered me $20 for this dress and I accepted it. And lastly, we're going to go over the eBay sales. So I had two eBay sales over the past two weeks. As I mentioned, I cross list everything using Vendu. So I do all my delisting and relisting as well as cross posting to all three marketplaces through Vendu. I use Vendu to actually create my listing and then shoot it out from there. For eBay, I had two great sales. The first one was the brand La Academie. I believe I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> hopefully. Um, it was a plaid trench coat dress. I had originally listed this one for $90. Um, it was new with tag, but it was missing the waist belt portion of that. Someone offered me $70 for that one on eBay, and I went ahead and accepted that offer. And then the next piece was these Good American Standout Square Toe Block Heel. They were from a liquidation box I believe I received from San Diego Resale last year. So they were in great condition, just had some slight wear on the bottom of the heel, which I was able to clean up really nicely. So these I had listed for $75 and I received an offer for $55 and I went ahead and accepted that offer. So February's definitely been slower for me than January was. I'm still trucking along, still making sure I'm getting my listings done and staying consistent with relisting items when they are over 60 days old. The great thing about Vendu is it does actually flag items for you when it's time for you to relist. You can adjust the time period that you want it to actually flag those listings. So I have mine flagged for after 60 days so I know to go in and I can go ahead and just multi delist and relist they have that feature it's fantastic i believe you can relist and delist up to 10 items at one time so that's been a huge time saver um i also like i said create my listings in vendu and then i shoot those out to all my platforms they've got a number of platforms that they are on that you can use for cross listing so if that is something that you're interested in doing I do have a link below it is an affiliate link so that means I do get somewhat of a kickback but no cost to you and you can give that a try I highly recommend it if you're really wanting to kind of up your game on the reselling so those are my sales for the start of February. I've got so much stuff to list over the next couple weeks. So I'm feeling some good momentum going forward. And I'm really excited to see kind of how my numbers change over the next few months as far as, you know, more sales on eBay or Mercari or Poshmark. Thanks again for checking out this video. If you like content like this, please subscribe to my channel please hit the like button. That way you can see more videos from me coming out soon. I appreciate you so much. Thanks again.